Good morning, friends. We are going to get started on our recipe today. Now, first things first is we have cat kibble here. I'm going to measure out seven grams of cat kibble powder into here and dissolve it. 6.9, close enough to seven for me. We're going to add that to our Michaels flask. Just a little cheap Halloween decoration. Haha. -ha. And this is from our Michaels Halloween decoration. Sometimes Michaels has a purpose. Teflon pill bottle, or Teflon pill, drop that on the bottle. And now we'll just add one 500 ml of water. Stir place, and we'll get it heating up. Okay, this is a seven dollar flask from Michaels. Don't forget. All right, we're outside. We just took this off the stir plate. We're gonna fill this up to 350 mils while straining it. Perfect. Nothing left in the strainer. 350, let's go add agar. Alright, so we got our 5 grams of agar. Now we're going to take that, add that to our solution without the stir bar on. Do not turn your stir bar on. We are going to add it just like this. And then once the agar on the surface goes beneath it, then we turn the stir bar on. Bloom your agar. coloring to make the colonies easier to spot if there's any bacteria because the kibble will not let you see through the AR. Now if you don't have a steam generator, pressure cook it 27 and a half minutes at 15 PSI. Since I'm using this and I have that, that blue cap vents at 14 PSI, I'm just going to drop it in here for an hour. That's all I need to do. It will build up pressure with inside the flask, kill any bacterium inside the air gap up there. And uh, she will come out sterile. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna run this for an hour. Uh, and then I'll see you guys in. Get her in with her sawdust. Let's turn her on and I'll see you in an hour. Guess who shot 
stopping now, uh, they can't stop me now, uh, I've been popping now, uh, Cardi, where your sister at? I need Henny now, mm -hmm. I flew in and out, 150,000, mm -hmm. now even when they shout, gotta shout me out, so ahead, go ahead, mm -hmm. ain't even close, all of y'all is number two, mm -hmm. back with our ketchup cups I have two different strains paper and hat they were both put in these ketchup cups the same day and you're going to see a difference and the difference you will see will also determine what continues to go in ketchup cups and what goes to petri dishes here is our apron if you notice good growth This is going to be getting transferred to another ketchup cup. This is going to be getting transferred to another ketchup cup. And do you see... That's what we're going to be trying to isolate out. This will be going to a petri dish. This is continuing to go into a ketchup cup. Now, why are some going and the other ones not? Well, if you notice, some of them are fully grown out and pretty uniform. So, like, if I take a sample from over here, I'm pretty confident I don't have to worry about anything from down there getting into it. Another nice one here. We'll take samples from there. Samples from there. Another nice one. Back to ketchup cups. Back to ketchup cups. Alright. I just want to show you that. Petri dish. Taking it from over there ketchup cup. Now you see the outer edge of growth about a quarter inch away from them. see if we can get it. I'll show you over there. Whole lot more transfers. We're really only going to try to aim for that little guy there and those two guys.
3.30 in the morning, not a soul in sight. City's looking like a ghost town on a moon of summer night. The raindrops on the windshield, there's a storm moving in. He's heading back from somewhere that he never should have been. And the thunder, thunder, and the thunder roll. Every light is burning in a house across town. She's pacing by the telephone in her faded flannel gown. Thunder. 